Oh wow, well, this is amazing. Hey everyone, today we are checking out the Design System Guide by Romina Kavsik. And it is incredible. This is a step-by-step -step interactive handbook that takes you through the entire process of creating your own design system. Even if you've never created one before, everything you need to know it's in here and it is beautifully designed. So this guide covers all of the foundational stuff that you'll need, the essential topics like checklists for everything, foundations, design tokens, design metrics. It's really well laid out in a few chapters and it starts with a design audit so that you can kind of take an assessment of everything that you have in your current project or your product and then it goes into the structure, so how you structure all of the content, the components, the design tokens. And then it talks about what design tokens are, all of the naming conventions, how to create them and how to use them in Figma. And then important things like adoption and how you build the entire design system for cross collaboration with developers and other people on your team. And then how to plan and collaborate the maintenance of this design system and keeping it going. How to write documentation, metrics and some great design resources. And if you want to learn more about design systems and how you can learn from them, I've done another video and I have a deep dive guide on some of the world's best design systems like Apple, Microsoft, Google, and you can see how they structure all of their components and their design assets and elements and learn from that as well. So check that out. The most amazing part about this beautiful handbook is that it's completely free. So let's start reading it together. So in chapter one and quite arguably the most important chapter are the boring questions. All of the questions that will bring you clarity about your design system. And this is the most important because a design system really is only as good as how you use it, how you implement it, and how it works for you and your product and your team. So I highly recommend going through all of these questions and answering them so that you have a really good idea of what you need. In the next chapter, you'll do a design on it. And this is where you gather all of the visual elements that you already have. So, you know, sometimes you start out and you're not really sure about the branding or the design elements or the components and you're sort of just putting things together and building it as you go and then it kind of takes on a life of its own and it's hard to wrangle that in so this is the wrangling in part you're going to go and gather up all of the bits and pieces that you have and get a high level overview of what that looks like and that could be product related things right like checkout pages and user profile pages and all of the big templates and stuff that you have for your site or your product and then it goes down to the smaller things and the atomic components like like avatars and badges, buttons, cards, navigation, all that stuff. In chapter three, we're gonna get into the structure. And this is where we're going to kind of start to put the system's foundation together. All of the design patterns, the guidelines, the components, everything that you think you're gonna need, putting it together in your hub. So you're gonna start with the foundational design elements, then the components, the guidelines, the patterns, and the tools. And this is where you're gonna kind of plan the entire ecosystem, where you're gonna have the design system, uh, and how all of the designers and the developers are gonna connect with it and work on it together. If you're looking for a place to build your design system, like a knowledge base to host everything and gather all of your components and documentation, then you've got to pick up our design system for Notion. It's an amazing hub that has all of the areas laid out for you for typography, for logos, for branding, for components and prototypes. It's really a place to put everything and connect it to Figma. So check that out at designerup.co and check the description for deals that we have going on. In the next chapter, we're talking about design tokens. And so this is about all of those naming conventions and semantics, you know, when you have a button and and that button is blue, so you want to call it blue, but then it might not be blue everywhere, so you don't want to name it blue. And then you don't want to use a hex because what if that hex changes and then developers need to change it globally? Well, that's where you need to really consider your naming convention. So that's when you might want to use button dash primary dash background dash color. So this is really great for helping you plan all of those so that you are saving your development team a lot of time and you are making your design process easier as your design system grows and scales. And those are the four main chapters that have already been released and there are more Coming. So stay tuned to the channel and bookmark the design systems guide so that you can check back and I'll be doing another video when more chapters get released. This is an incredible resource that will teach you a lot about design systems and I highly recommend you checking it out and also watching my other video on design systems as well.
And don't forget about our product design course where you'll learn to actually design amazing products and understand the UX and UI process that goes into making products that use design systems like these.